Hey guys, John here. Today we are in the Repro 5 from Yuhi and we're going to be making a really nice kind of mystical pad that I called Eternity and it sounds a little something like this. All right, so let's get into this here. So we have another fresh instance here. Let's go right click in it just to be sure. So over here, let's go to our effects here. And I guess we can just uh, bypass some of these effects. Make it a little bit easier, something like that. And let's kind of focus on our oscillators. So we're gonna be using A and B with a combination of some noise. So both of these, so one's gonna be 51% in the mix. Let's kind of just go adjust that now. And actually, you know what? Let's bring these down here for now. Kind of just focus on the first one. So the first one, we're going to be not doing any of the fine detuning. It's going to be on one, so we don't have to change any of this here. But we are using only a square. So deselect the saw and select the square here. And the pulse width is going to be 77. So you have something like that. Now for oscillator B, what we're doing here is this is still gonna be one, no detuning, so we can keep this here, but we're taking it off of the saw and bringing in the square once again, and leaving our pulse width here at 50, so right there in the middle, and bring this in at 51 as well. Now we are gonna be doing some fine tuning here, so this little guy here is gonna be negative 3.5, and this guy here is gonna be positive 8.5. So we kind of have almost that pulsing. Okay, cool. And a little bit of noise at 24. All right, and especially down here on the voice detune, this is gonna be at 29. Okay, so next up, we've got to focus on our filter section. So I'm going to bring this guy a little bit over here to the right, something like that. So we can kind of focus on both of these. So first of all, these two sections here. Okay, so the cutoff is going to be a 28. Something like that here. Our resonance is at 4. And then our envelope is 17, something like that here. And then our keyboard amount is going to be 56. So let's bring this down just a little bit. Now this one was kind of tricky to just to get the right frequency balance because sometimes it can be a little muddy, sometimes it can be a little too harsh, and it's kind of just kind of going around with the filter, the the envelope amount, kind of keyboard amount, so on and so forth. Okay, so now down here on the attack, it's going to be 70 and then decay 83. So 70 and then 83 for the decay. And then sustain 79, bring this down. And then our release is going to be 81. Like that. Okay, now for our amp envelope. So I guess we can just uh, move this guy a little over here, something like that. Do we have enough space? Uh, we do. Okay. I can't even see the display. Anyway, we're going to have to kind of just tab between the windows. That's fine. Okay, so attack is 70. So we can go to 70. Attack It's going to be kind of slow, right? Because it's a pad. We want it, uh, we want it slow. Should have gone to 69. God damn it. Okay, so next up, decay 80. Something like that. And then our sustain is gonna be 80 as well. Let's bring that down right here. And then our release, which is very important, is gonna be oh, 69, you know what? I forgive myself. 69, here we go. So we're pretty close here. Now before we leave this page, or kind of technically we're gonna leave it here in a second, we need to do some stuff here with the mod wheel. So this LFO is going to be 13. So let's bring this up to about 13. And what we're going to be doing with our LFO, with our wheel mod, is changing the pulse width of A and B. So it's like A and B because we're both using the pulse width here, the, the square wave. And so if we move up our mod wheel, 
might be a little much. So down over here on this triangle, this white one, I kind of brought this down kind of substantially, maybe somewhere around like here, because this is supposed to be a subtle, a subtle kind of thing. So we really don't need to overdo it. Okay, so we're pretty much here in the ballpark. I guess we could set up some of these modulations with the LFO. Let's go ahead and do that before we go to the tweaks section because there's a lot of interesting, interesting tones that we get out of that. So our LFO here is going to be at 70. So let's go ahead and bring this to 70. And what we're going to be doing is using this triangle right over here. We're going to be modulating this LFO. So both of these are going to be LFO. So let's select LFO for both of these. And what we're doing is the oscillator B fine tune and the oscillator A fine tune. I guess I could have done AB, but whatever. Let's just kind of map it here. So click this here on B and then here and drop it on this tiny little screw there. And there we go. And then this here is going to be 28 for the depth. And then this guy here is going to be negative 18. So not only are we kind of detuning here, but we're also modulating this detune knob with our LFO with a triangle wave. So we're getting there. It's still a little muddy, so we need to go into our effects. But before that, we got to check out our tweaks panel. And don't overlook this here. This is a really, really cool spot of the synth where you can really get some really interesting stuff out. So here on our tweaks, by default, we have P5 and P5. So we can change this to P5 old. Look at this here, P5 old, and then this first one to P1. Okay, and then the, it's going to be poly, analog, and analog, which is fine here. Now, this is going to be the fun part. Okay, so if we look here to the left, these these little screws right here, this is the, the voice panning. So here's where we can kind of move things around the stereo field. Now, the first one is going to be negative 38. So let's bring this down here. And stuff with pads like this, all these weird little interesting changes really kind of bring things to life. So 32, negative 53. So 32, let's kind of do this quick here. 32, negative 53. And the next one we have 28 and negative 34. So 28 and negative 34. And this, I didn't generally like exactly do this to the value when I was making this. It's kind of just moving things around and kind of just getting what you find is right. So on six, this is going to be 23 again. So 23. Seven is going to be negative 77. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, negative 77 for seven. And then eight is going to be 50 to the right, something like that. So every time we play these different notes, as you can see, this lights up, and this is going to put it a little bit more on the right speaker. Hit it again. It's the same one. Hit another note. Now this is on five, and it's a little bit to the left, so negative 34. And when you start playing more and more things, this kind of makes it really cool. Okay, so that is pretty much all we have to do here. I don't believe I did anything else in this tweaks panel. I think we're kind of good here. Okay, so let's move on to the effects. So let's go back to our effects page and kind of see what is going on here. So the first thing that we're actually doing is the res EQ. So let's grab this guy and bring it to the top of the chain and turn this on. And let's take a look and see what's happening here. So what I did here is the low is gonna be 25, that's 25, and I'm cutting out 10, 10, negative 10.5. Kind of clearing it up a little bit. And they're doing the same for the mid. So the mid's 39, so let's bring this down to 39. And then the value's negative eight, negative eight dB. And then the high is 75. And then I believe, no, we left that one alone and we didn't change the Q. Okay, so that's all we got to do for the EQ. Next up, we are skipping Velvet. Actually, we should talk about the distortion. Let's go ahead and turn that on right here. So turn this guy on. We're going to be on soft clip and the tone is a little bit more to the right and the exact value is going to be 84. So let's change this to 84. All right. And 100% in the mix. And then the amount here is, let's see what we have. Seven deeps, so just a little subtlety. That's all we got to do. Okay, so moving on, we're going to skip Velvet. We don't need this for this patch. I did try a lot of the different things, but I didn't feel it was right for this patch, so we don't even need this at all. Next up is going to be Lyrebird, so let's grab this here and put it under Velvet and click this guy on, and let's see what's going on here. So the time, two, which is default, and mix is 30, so those are both default. We're changing this to the medium modulation and echo, so we can bring those down and put up medium, and then our regen is just going to be 38. 
and then changing this to bright. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so next up we're gonna do Drench. So we're bringing this up below the library and turn this on to so our reverb. And let's take a look at what we're doing over here. So let's move this to the right, something like that. And let's take a look at Drench. So we have the pre-delay at 85, so pretty high up there. Let's move this to the right. So pre-delay is 85. It's just nice having kind of a lot, a lot of pre-delay for a pad like this because you do get the, the clarity of the notes and then the reverb kind of comes just a little bit later and kind of get the best of both worlds. So our decay is 74, right? It's 74 for our decay. I left some of those long tails and then our tone is going to be a little bit darker at negative 38. And then the dry wets is pretty substantially high at 54. So we have something like this. We could turn this, actually, we're just, I think we're going to the Sonic Conditioner anyway, so this is going to be kind of our final gain staging here, so let's go ahead and turn that on and kind of see what happens here. So on our initial patch, we have our gain set to 9 and then transient negative 2.6, so let's go ahead and do that. And negative 2.6 for the transient, negative 2.6, there we go. I don't think we changed the width, yeah, that would have been weird if we did something like that. And let's turn on multicore just in case my computer doesn't die. thing sounds good okay so we're pretty close and one thing i do want to point out before we let you go here so in the middle of me playing that i was moving my mod wheel so let's turn this down here on this guy and then let's turn my mod wheel down on this guy as well so basically here's a chord and let's kind of subtly move this mod wheel You kind of hear that, like almost that pulsing, that moving, that uh, that, that fine tuning, it kind of just gives it a little bit more rich vibe to it. So a little, a little bit of that can go quite a long way. And there you have it. That's how you make Eternity. If you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and you can have it for free. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.